When it comes to immersive, survival-focused, open-world VR experiences, Into the Radius has long been hailed as one of the most intense and atmospheric games in virtual reality. And tomorrow it's finally making it to the PSVR 2 platform, and I got to play this version early, and I'll tell you all I think about it in this video. Huge shout out to Fast Travel Games and CM Games for giving me the early access to Into the Radius and sponsoring this content. I'll also give away two game keys for this game, so watch this video until the end to know how to enter. Already an amazing game on PC VR and standalone Quest, the PSVR 2 version doesn't just add more polish, it shines through some of the PSVR 2's awesome unique features from the OLED display, dynamic foveated rendering with eye tracking, headset haptics when you're facing the anomalies, it is now officially the best way to experience into the radius. Let's dive deeper into what makes this version stand out. On PSVR 2, Into the Radius still features the same original campaign with dozens of hours of intense exploration, combat, stealth and survival. But one of the most immediately noticeable upgrades is of course the old display of PSVR 2. The visuals are sharper and oh my gosh, these deep blacks in the haunted settings of this game can make you go insane. It's only after playing this game on PSVR VR2 that you will truly understand just how crucial this OLED display is for this game's atmosphere. If you have played Into the Radius before, you know that this game thrives on tension, and the dark environments of the Pechorsk anomaly have never looked more menacing. Whether you're exploring at night or creeping through dimly lit bunkers or facing the anomalies head on, the tension is insane. You will notice the difference when playing on Quest, for example, whether a standalone version or PC VR, the colors and dark scenes uh, don't have the same level of depth. You won't get that same contrast and shadow detail that make the world feel even more dangerous. But let's not forget about another outstanding feature of PSVR 2 eye tracking, which allows dynamic foveated rendering. What it basically means is the areas you are directly looking at in the game are rendered at the highest resolution, while the peripheral elements are rendered at lower resolution, all without you noticing because you're looking uh, where you're looking and that area is rendered perfectly. And this allows the game to maintain the high performance while focusing on PS5's power on what truly matters, which is keeping the visuals sharp exactly where you're looking. And that, of course, not only helps maintain the butter smooth performance, but also makes the game feel even more immersive because of how well it performs. And now to haptics. On the PSVR 2, both the Sense controllers and the headset itself come equipped with haptic feedback, which adds a whole new dimension to the gameplay. And yes, the Into the Radius on PSVR 2 does take advantage of your headset haptics. When an enemy strikes you or an anomaly pulses nearby, you feel it not just in your hands but in the headset itself, and this makes every encounter feel much more physical and real. The adaptive triggers on the Sense controllers also give you resistance when you fire weapons, which feels so awesome. As of now, this is the best controller haptic experience you can get on any VR console, and the only one that can give you the headset haptic vibrations. You've got to experience this. Even though it's not a new game, I really want to say a few words about the gameplay itself, because just like before, Into the Radius remains a slow-paced, methodical survival. Well, part survival and part horror. You're not just gonna rush out and shoot everything that moves. You die in an instant after running out of your ammo. You gotta take it slow and plan out every step and always be prepared for the worst. The deliberate pace of every action, whether it's cleaning your gun or rationing your supplies, is designed to immerse you in the harsh realities of survival in the wasteland. The time it takes to reload, scavenge and navigate the dangerous environments adds to this tension and you will always be on the edge, never fully comfortable. I need to mention this because this slow pacing might not be for everyone. If you're a fan of fast-paced shooters, this is just not that kind of a game, but it is what gives Into the Radius its signature feel. Every resource matters, and in this game you'll need to adopt the goblin mode of looting, <laughs> which means that you'll be picking up everything because you never know when you will need it. The scarcity of resources means that every bullet and every piece of loot 
food could be the difference between life and death. And even if you don't need something right away, you can sell it later for much needed cash. Resource management becomes a game in itself. Do you carry the extra medkit or another box of bullets? Every choice matters and into the radius makes you feel the way of those decisions. The game doesn't handhold you through these moments and if you're underprepared then you will face the consequences and it's making the survival aspect of the game feel truly rewarding. The horror aspect of this game is less about jump scares. You actually can see your enemies far from the distance and somehow it's even more terrifying. It's more about the constant tension of survival. It can be exhausting really, the constant stress, the eerie silence, the deadly anomalies or the footsteps that you're hearing in the distance and the knowledge that a mistake could cost you all your loot. All of this combines to create a persistent feeling of dread. And thousands of players just love it and can't get enough of it. Into the Radius doesn't need to rush you. Its slow pace is what makes it one of the most immersive VR games available to you. It'll keep you on your toes the entire time. And if you want to win one of the two game keys of Into the Radius, you will need to do the following. Subscribe to Disco VR YouTube channel, have a North American PlayStation account, sorry my European friends, those are the keys that I was given, and leave a comment to this video telling me what about the PlayStation VR 2 version of Into the Radius excites you most, and add this hashtag. I will announce the winners in the community section of my channel on September the 20th. For PSVR 2 owners, Into the radius is a no-brainer. In case you didn't know, it gives you a choice to adjust the difficulty settings, which makes it a great game for anyone. If you want to go full survival mode or just have an easy stroll through the radius, it is still going to be scary. It is one of the most immersive and unsettling experiences VR has to offer. Honestly, it should have made it to my list of god-tier VR games. It's just that good. And if you are hungry for more exceptional VR games that truly deserve the god-tier rank, then come check out this video and expand your collection of incredible VR games that you need to play. I'll see you there!